What's up YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. Hope you enjoyed our last video. Check it out down there in the bottom there somewhere. We're here at Kenilworth Show 2018. Where better place than to talk you through my steed. We haven't done like a bike check or kind of let you guys know what we do with our bikes. So we thought we'd put together this video and show you what we do. Come have a look. This is a Honda CRF 450 to be precise. This is a 2017 model because I became very partial to my 17, so I kept hold of it. Main reason being, it's still got a kickstart and no electric start. I never had the electric start put on this bike purely to save the weight with the battery and the, the big start motor that they, they come with now because I'm a little bit lighter than the two other gents that are on the team. So that was something that I kind of Kind of favoured. This machine is made in Japan, then comes to England, and then the good people at Ling's Honda they ship it out to us. Big, big up the Ling's, big up the Ling's team. This is a wheel. More importantly, it is an SM Pro rim, Pro Platinum, and then we rock the SM Pro hubs. Let you in on a little bit of a secret here. We run a 110 rear tyre, a Dunlop. Good people at Dunlop. I'm running an MX-52. Find it very, very good working on every condition, to be honest with you. Just an all round awesome tire. And also, I run a stock tube because heavy duty tubes are real heavy. Like the wheel weight is times like 3.7, something like that. So yeah, light wheels means a lighter bike. Running currently an FMF single pipe conversion. It's pretty sick. It's got some, it's got some bottom hen pop. <laughs> it's a stainless header with a tie rear can. This is heat wrap for when we go in the foam pit so we don't set the foam pit on fire again because that really isn't fun. As you can see it, is, it looks rather aesthetically nice. We're running the, the matte black decals as done by Rad FMX aka Aaron Powley. E. All the, um, the relevant sponsors are on there. RFX, Seven, Cry, Lings, Castrol, SM Pro, Dirt Bike Rider, Duck Smart, Dragon Goggles, Bell Helmets. So yeah, moving on to the, the sprocket side, I run a 51 tooth rear sprocket, simply because of the way that the gear and 17 onward CRF 450 is geared. It's sick. Nah. Yeah, so that's pretty much the rear end of the bike. You can also see that I run a carbon subframe. One of the more trigger parts of the bike. Massive weight saving. Wind shot. Carbon subframe and the carbo tank. Big up the carbo tank. See that in there? Funnel web, mate. Funnel web filters. Really, really good filters. They fit real good. I like them. <laughs> they work for me. One of the other bits I run is a, it's meant for knack flips, but I can't do knack flips. So I kind of only really use it to do Captain Morgan's, which is, I guess, my signature gag. These are titanium footrests. Again, just a weight saving thing and they are super, super grippy. One of my favorite things that I have on it now is a tie bolt kit. So all these bolts are now tie. Well, it took Samson, Aaron and Ron. No, that's, that's <laughs> it took Samson, Aaron and myself quite some time to, to put it on, about three hours, I think. But we were in the back of a lorry at another show. When I say tie, I mean titanium, not Taiwanese. GPR. Every freestyle rider needs a GPR. Basically, it just stops the tank slap going when you let go of the bike when you're flying through the air. I don't know. It's got oil in it and valves and stuff, and it just stops the, the bars from turning real fast. And you can tighten it up and loosen it off, but I never change it because I don't do anything rad enough to need to change it. Works connection, hour meter. Mainly so I can tell the time in when we're in the shows, more importantly. 
We move stuff around the handlebars a little bit. My kill switch is this side, so I don't kick it. So it's kind of a bit protected. Two flip levers, levers. Oh. Bit like that. Uh, grip tape right. here. So I can do my nails, mid-show. Damn, broke my hand. Uh, grip tape there, literally for cliffhangers, if I ever do one, but it looks cool. Uh, suspension. Steve at Multitech hooks us up with our suspension. I love Steve for so many reasons. Tie. Tie axles, front and rear. When I say tie, I don't mean tie win ease. I mean titanium. It's got a throttle as well. Not just any throttle. It's got a, it's got a three quarter turn throttle because I've got really weak wrists and they don't they don't turn quite far enough. So three quarter turn throttle could be <laughs> a quarter turn throttle. There's a ratio, but I'll have to look on the box. I missed something in the mid region here. Obviously, we shave our seats down. Those that know freestyle will know anyway. Shave your seat down. The vortex ignition, just to give it a little bit more. Again. I'm kind of not very aggressive rider, so I tend to forget to wind the throttle on hard enough. So um, the Vortex just gives me a little bit more pop and sounds sick when you pop it off the limiter, which I never do. It has no engine brake. It's great for going over berms. Steven. <laughs> but it's also got a custom map on it as well, so it's not just your, your, your bolt-on Vortex. It has been um, tricked up by Steve at Multitech. Yeah, um, in terms of engine oil, and pretty much all the lubricants we use on the bike would be Castrol. Power one, race it! Yeah? And then the bike's cleaned down with Duck Smart, so she looks spanked up with Duck Smart. So yeah, that is my Lynx Honda CRF 450. I love it to bits, it's an awesome weapon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to give us a like, subscribe if you've got time. Comment as well what you may like to see in a future video. Yeah, like, subscribe, see you in the next one.